actually just getting some pictures sent in off the new lease right now from some of the cell cameras. But what's up guys, just finished up a video from the end of May where we were going through and scouting a new property that we'll be hunting this fall. Obviously, since we're posting the video now, we did decide to go with the lease. In this video, we were mainly scouting it, and I do apologize for some of the quality of the clips. It was uh, sort of last minute that we decided to film it. We didn't have our good cameras handy, but I do think the content is really good because we'll kind of show you guys what we were looking for and some of the signs, some of the things that we saw that ultimately led to our decision to go ahead and and fork over the money to get another lease. But we're really excited for it going into the season. Obviously, getting more ground just allows you to cast a wider net and hopefully locate more and bigger bucks. So it's already showing quite a bit of potential. Maybe you can see that clip behind me, but seen a couple of nice bucks on it. So make sure you stay tuned and hope you enjoy the video. Well guys, it's last day of turkey season, but we're actually checking out a lease and we're hoping to get it. We walked it once last week and we liked it, but I had my last final of college ever, actually, just graduated. Had to get going, so we decided to come back out here and check it out one more time, because we, we think we want it, but we're just trying to decide whether we want to spend the money, so. It's a neat property. It's close to home and it's, um, it's got like 30 acres of tillable, got some high ground and it's got some low ground marsh type stuff down by the river here so it's a nice property so when we saw this property online the first thing I did was start looking at all the different aerials I not only did I look at it on onyx to determine the property boundaries and measure different areas like this section here along the river is going to be about a little over 40 acres of cover which to me that tells me okay a big buck has plenty of cover to live back here that's plenty maybe even a couple of them you can see some sloughs that are actually dried up right now, but if there was water in them, they all pinch down on this whole peninsula here. They would pinch the deer down to come out into this ag field here, which we're assuming this is where the deer are gonna wanna feed their, their destination food sources, a lot of these ag fields down here. But if those sloughs are full, it's gonna pinch those deer down and there's gonna be a bunch of trails that all come out in that corner down there. So that was a big pinch point that we looked at and the travel corridor along the river. But I looked at not only Onyx, but I went into Google Earth and I looked at different leaf on, leaf off pictures, try to see trails, stuff like that. And then once we get out here, we are just mainly looking for trails, like what we see here, old rubs. There's been quite a few of them so far. We're looking for big rubs. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Um, kind of wish we could see, we could have saw this property before it got all green, but you can still get a good feel for deer sign. And this property, has no lack of it, that's for sure. So we also talked to the landowner, trying to get a gauge for what hunting pressure this has seen in the past. It seemed like pretty average, like it's been hunted. He's given permission to people in the past and it got pushed during shotgun season. So pretty standard, but really we're just trying to decide whether this property has what it takes to hold a mature and big buck, um, just cause that's what we're into. So this is kind of the steps we're taking and throughout the day walking out we'll show you some of the places we find some of the things we like so one of the things we've been looking at in this part of the property is not only the high concentration areas coming out to the field like i was talking about with the sloughs and stuff but and there's an open gate over in that corner down there maybe some room to put a food plot we talked to the landowner about he would probably allow that so stuff like that but also just natural food sources like this oak tree here this is a nice white oak you could tell that by the rounded lobes on all of the leaves and they also just seem to you know kind of fan out more the structure of the tree but in these marsh areas down here there's a limited supply of these oaks so if you can find and we've been marking these on the map as food source trees there's only been the previous time we walked it found a couple and then there's several along this edge here so these are going to be high concentration natural food sources that the deer are going to hit before they go out in the ag fields while they still have cover so most of the time the bucks will probably stand up and come feed in these oaks till dark and then go out into the ag field for the destination food source but they don't bear every single year so what we'd probably have to do if we end up with this lease is come out here in early september 
and just look up in the tops with binos if we have to to see if there's any acorns in them and if there are this would be a hot spot in october so that's another thing that we've been looking at down here another good thing that you can kind of hone into is honey locusts when you have got a property like this we talk about it a lot on public land we've seen a lot of success hunting honey locust patches on public land you know the same thing applies here i just looked down and there's a bunch of honey locusts that kind of in this little bottom area and it's a perfect transition at the time that they're probably feeding on it the corn's long gone it's probably late season so deer still have to eat and this is another good piece of intel to hone into because you're not going to find honey locusts all over the property if you can hone into these little food sources since you can't make a huge impact with food this is a good thing to kind of note and figure out where these patches are which will help you concentrate it on the deer as the season progresses i'm gonna do a voice over here you can see the river kind of goes here and it bends on this property line really kind of pushes up together so that's going to create that natural pinch point where traveling deer are going to be pinched up into this corner so we were coming over here to take a look and you can see the trail in here is really pronounced you can see a break off trail that comes up into this crp field and these overhanging limbs is what i narrowed in on first that's just a dead giveaway for scrapes but look at this nice old scrape it's trying to fill in and there's another one over here too just good things to know because if a guy does end up with this property then you can really get a jump start this fall camera locations too yeah it's old but it still tells something so there's still trails being used in here but there's a buck bed right here you can see the hair in it wow Lots of hair. Super worn down. And there's a bunch of escape trails. You can see one here. There's one off camera, but it's right here. Then there's a trail that kind of runs right here too. Under this pine or cedar for shade. Wow. Yeah, a couple of really nice oak trees right there. And a red fox den. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. Where, like right there? Yeah, right over there. There was an even heavier trail over there. Yeah, well, we can work our way up this ridge. This takes you to the main ridge. Yeah. I think this property has enough sign for me to say it's probably pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to try to get it. I'm just saving this photo to a pin on Onyx. But this is a nice spot. This is probably the thickest point I've seen. I think that one was too, but the uh, the ditch was super steep right down below it. And they didn't cross, they crossed a lot down the bottom and they didn't cross much until right here. And this is probably the most convergence of trails. Yeah, I, don't know, I, I don't know, there's just trails everywhere. And that's a big rub. I mean, there's really deep gouge marks right here too. I mean, it's hard to tell exactly how big, but there's a bunch of rubs. I mean, bound to have a good deer and there's also a lot of really good trails on that next ridge over and i followed it and it kind of wraps up to this hill here too so okay. i tracked it on the tracking feature on onyx to kind of oh, track them the trail yeah you see this trail like, yeah they had a bed right there yeah that's a bed I bet this is a that's a buck bed this Now this. Look at all the hair. Yeah. I think it's kind of like bedding areas like this. That's intense. I mean, I guess I don't really look for bedding areas that much, but but there was, you know, rubs like literally leading into this big rub. Right. I think it's a pretty good place. <laughs> well, that's gonna wrap up the video. Obviously, decided to go with the lease. Hopefully you learned a little bit about our process for deciding whether or not we wanted to pursue it. And uh, make sure you stay tuned. We have four cameras up on it right now. 
and we started to get some good pictures of some velvet bucks and actually ran into a good one. So there's going to be more content coming. Make sure you follow along and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.